Hello everyone, welcome again to our educational channel La Valeur Absolue. Here you can find videos on your favorite subjects, including mathematics, science, physics, Arabic, French, and of course English. And by the way, I am Sabrina, your English teacher. And today I'm gonna give you some pronunciation tips. So this lesson is dedicated to the seventh form. So let's start. So uh, in this video we will focus on two English vowel sounds. Pshar, e and a. A is a short single sound that is pronounced without your mouth moving. Whereas a is a diphthong which means a merging of two sounds and your mouth gets smaller as you're making the sound. So, a is a monophone. Monophones are single vowel sounds produced by air escaping through the mouth. They are all voiced, which means the vocal cords vibrate to cause the sound and they are distinguished from each other by the shape and position of the jaw, lips and tongue. Now the sound A is a diphthong and diphthongs are long vowel sounds made by gliding from one position of the mouth to another within the same syllable. So, now let's take each sound in details. The short sound E. Eh. The short sound of the letter E eh sounds like you're not impressed by something. Like you're saying E. Eh. Making it by forming your mouth into a narrow shape with your teeth close together. So, when to use it? When the letter E is followed by a single consonant at the end of a word, or by two consonants. For example, pet, melt, letter. So, here you can hear the sound E, eh, bet, melt letter. So here is the position of the jaw, the lips and of course the tongue. So what you need to do here is to make your back of the tongue a little bit down, jaw of course a little bit down and your mouth a bit wide, not really wide just in the middle like in this picture here so let's see examples on the day of the wedding ted's best friend gave him a hand as a present he said it was for good luck but i bet he just thought it was funny again Ted, 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 best, best. So don't forget to practice. Repeat after me. Ted, best, friend, hand. Present, pet. Again, this is another picture. This is how your mouth should look like when you are pronouncing the sound E. Eh. See? So, more examples. Cell, bed, 
leg, red, rest, tech, met. Let's repeat. Sell, sell. Bed, bed, leg, leg, red, red, rest, rest, tech. Tech, met, met. Let's move on to the sound A. A is the so-called long sound of the letter A as in K. The diphthong A starts at about the English E or vowel number 3 and moves in the direction of I or vowel number 2. Example, late, rain, eight, great. So, let's focus on this picture, the position of the jaw, Move your jaw up, move front of the tongue up, and the mouth wide open, A, A, let's see the sound more in depth, now the sound. The long sound of the letter A is the same as in its name, A. Make it by forming your mouth into a wide, narrow shape, as we saw in the picture. So, when do we use the sound? When the letter A is near the end of the word, followed by a consonant, and then a silent E. For example, fate, debate. So we don't see here fate or debate. So this is a silent E, which makes the first vowel long. Fate, debate. When the letter A is followed by another vowel, including the letter Y, for example, fail, maybe, maelstorm, or when the letters EI are followed by the silent GH, for example, like in the example. Wait, a neighbor. Wait, neighbor. So here, hear the sound A. Examples. No way. That dress is on sale for one day. Let's repeat. No way. That dress on sale for one day only. So here, way, sell, and day. But I'm not able to find, to fit into it. But I'm not able to fit into it. I blame all that cake I ate yesterday. Again, let's repeat. No way. That dress is on sale 
for one day only, but I'm not able to fit into it. I blame all the cake I ate yesterday. Again, let's see another picture of the position of the mouth here. At the beginning of the sound, a, eh, then there is a glide in the mouth, in the position, a, a, now let's practice, but before practicing, let's remember what you need to do. When you're practicing your pronunciation, have a mirror nearby. When you're making vowel sounds, the shape of your mouth is very important for making the right sound. Okay? Also, you need to be aware of where your tongue is for each sound. That's really important. Experiment a bit with making sounds while moving your tongue around in your mouth. So, I will say the word and please repeat after me. Wet, the sound a, eh, wet. Wait, the sound A. Pen, pain. Pen, pain. Test, taste. Pledge, page. Let, late, sent, saint, bell, bail, get, gate, met, Mate, men, main. So this is the end of our lesson. Just remember to practice and practice and practice. Practice makes perfect. Just as I said, try to practice using a mirror. Okay? So if you like this video, Please like and share this video and subscribe for more videos. Of course, you can visit us at our platform at uh, www.lvaacademy.com or of course, you can visit us at our uh, Facebook page. So, see you again, guys. Inshallah.